Uh, so what are we talking about today? We're talking about special prices for business partners. The agenda today is we're going to look at special prices by business partners and how to set them up specifically for period discounts and volume discounts. And we're also going to talk, talk about uh, managing special prices. And so, and then we'll top things off with a little Q&A at the very end. Okay. But before we kick things off, let's just do a quick review. So how does the pricing hierarchy work in SAP Business One? In other words, when I'm creating a sales order, for example, and I place an item on my sales order, what does SAP check for in terms of calling up the correct price? Well, the first thing it's going to check for is whether or not I have any special prices by business partners defined. This takes precedence over everything. Secondly, if there are no special prices by business partners defined, it's going to look at whether or not I have discount groups. So, for example, I might have a discount uh, group by customer group or even by item group. If none of those are defined, it's going to take a look at whether or not I've set up some period and volume discounts. So, again, a period discount is a date range. So, for example, if I have a promotion during Christmas, it's going to check whether or not I have um, a period discount during, say, December 30, December 1st to December 31st. And it's also going to check whether or not I have a volume discount. A volume discount is another way of saying quantity breaks. So if I buy a certain quantity, I get a certain break on pricing. Lastly, if none of the above exists in the system, it's basically going to pull the price that's defined in my price list. So with that in mind, let's get right into the demo. So let's take a look at SAP Business One. Now, the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the Business Partner Master Data Screen. I'm gonna call up my favorite customer, Stacy, Stacy Industrial Supplies. What we wanna do is take a look at the Payment Terms tab, and let's take a look at his price list defined or assigned to Stacy. So right now you can see he's got the MSRP price list assigned to him. And you might notice this field here called Total Discount Percent. What this field uh, is, is basically you can apply a discount to an entire order. So for example, let's see that in action. Let's create a sales order. I'm gonna click on this button and I'm gonna select any item here, for example. Okay, so right now it's calling the unit price of $100 and this is being um, pulled directly from his MSRP price list. There is no discount behind this, but you can see at the footer, there is a discount that's applied to the entire sales order. So he gets a 2% discount on the entire order. Now, if I, for example, had put a manual discount here of say 10%, it would apply 10% um, against that row plus an additional 2% on top of that 10%. So he's essentially getting a 12% discount for that particular uh, order, okay? Now, if I wanna create special prices for a customer, what I wanna do is go into my main menu under items or under inventory and under special prices, you can see I've got special prices for business partners here and we're gonna look at copying special prices and updating special prices, okay? So again, what I mentioned earlier, there are some other uh, features as well, such as the discount groups. Uh, so again, if there's a discount by item group or by customer group, they would be defined in here. And you can set up some period and volume discounts in here as well. And you can also set up period and volume discounts against a specific business partner. So again, the main difference is when you set them up in this section for uh, special prices for business partners, those period and volume discounts would be applied specifically to Stacy, for example. So let's go ahead and create a brand new special price for Stacy. And so when I pull up the special price for business partner screen at the header, this is where I'd select Stacy. And you can see I've got the option to pull in the MSRP price list. And what this does, the advantage of selecting the MSRP price list uh, is because I know that that's Stacy's price list. And so if I were to pick a range of items here, it's gonna automatically show the MSRP price list for each item here. 
I can also apply at the header level a discount percentage. So for example, 5%. The advantage of applying the 5% discount at the header level is that it's going to automatically apply 5% to any item I specify on the row here. So to see that in action, for example, let's just add some items. So I can click on the Add Items button, and I can select items by item group or by properties. I can even select one item at a time, or I can select, for example, uh, a range of items. Let's say, for example, I want to show all the items that belong to the parts and supplies item group. I click OK, and you can see it automatically displays the MSRP price for each of those items, and it automatically applies the 5% discount to these items because that's what I've defined here at the top. Now, obviously, if I wanted to, I can still uh, you know, override some of the discounts here. Right, so maybe I don't want a 5% discount on this row. I want maybe a 7%. And maybe I want to remove an item altogether. I can right click and I can delete that entire row. Now, just to simplify things, let's just use one item for our demonstration purposes for today. So as you can see, I've got a 5% discount on the row here. So let's take a look at what we're looking at. Again, you got the item number the item description, the respective price list, and the price that belongs to that price list. So it's $100 under the MSRP price list. I'm giving it a 5% discount, so my price after discount is $95. You also have the respective item group that this belongs to, and then you have a checkbox called auto. So what, this, what does this checkbox do? So if I click on the auto checkbox here, I put a check mark in there. What happens is if I create any update to a price within the MSRP price list, then it's going to automatically update the price that's defined here for that new price for that price list. So for example, the price right now is $100, but if I change that price in my MSRP price list to $200, it's gonna automatically apply a 5% discount to the $200. So in essence, I would be getting a 10% uh, a discount on that. Okay, so let's see that in action. So let's go ahead and add this. And now let's go ahead and create uh, a sales order for Stacy. Okay. So if I go and create an order for Stacy, and I pick that same item, S0002. You can see it automatically applies a 5% discount. <clears throat> and again, on top of that, he gets another 2% discount against the entire order. Okay. Now, what if we want to apply um, a, a period discount, right? So let's take our same item that we've defined here, the same special item price. If I double click on row one, it calls my period discount screen. And what you can see here is I have the ability to specify a date range. So I can say from January 24th to January 31st, I want to have a discount of 10%. I can even specify a second row. I can say, well, when February 1st comes along, I want to say have a Valentine's Day special. And so from February 1st to say February uh, 15th, I want to show a 15% discount for that specific date range. And I say update. So again, let's just go back to that screen. So why is this so important? Imagine you're a customer uh, or a business that has the hundreds, if not thousands of items and just as many customers. Well, it would be almost impossible to manage all of these uh, discounts, especially if you have to remember, um, did, I, did I remember to turn off that discount for this particular promotion? By doing this, 
the system automatically starts and stops these discounts for you. So let's take a look at this in action. Okay, so again, let's go and create an order for Stacy. Okay, so again, because the date is January 24th, it's automatically pulling in a 10% discount. And that's going to apply up until January 31st. So let's see what happens when I change the date to February 1st. You can see it automatically put in a 15% discount here. So again, it's a great way for the system to do the work automatically for you. One tip to recognize whether or not there is a special price is the font color turns to blue under the unit price and the discount field, as well as the price after discount. Whenever you see a blue font for these three fields, it means there is a special price defined in the system for this item, for this business partner. On top of that, I can right click the unit price field and I can pull up the price report. The price report shows every single uh, price list and any price defined for that item within any of these price lists. So you can see under the MSRP price list, it's $100. And when I buy it from my vendor, you can see my vendor price list, I buy it at $50 US. You can also see there are some special prices defined in the system here. I have a special price of $95 for a 5% discount. I also have a special price of $85 for a 15% discount for this particular date range. And it would say 10% discount if my date range was within January. Another tip is to always ensure that under uh, on your form here, on your sales order screen, you should have the discount percentage field shown, and it would be also really nice to have the price after discount field shown, okay? So what we do here is we go to form settings, and we just wanna make sure that the discount percent field as well as the price after discount field is shown. That way you can always see, you can always compare unit price to price after discount, okay? So moving along here, Let's, let's have another scenario where we want to provide a volume discount or a quantity break discount. A customer buys one, they get regular price. Let's say a customer buys, uh, buys one, or the second price or the second item is 50% off. If a customer buys maybe three items, uh, buy two, the third one is free. Right, so we can specify quantity breaks on there. So let's choose another item here. Okay, so we have our plastic coil crimping pliers. We can see the normal MSRP price is $33.33. Now, if I double click on this row, I can actually also include a period range. So I can say that this customer is entitled to a quantity break just for the month of January. If I leave it blank, it's going to be an ongoing or a perpetual quantity break discount. So let's just leave it blank for now. So this customer will always get a quantity break. If I double click on this row, it now brings up my special prices volume discount screen. And this is where I specify the quantity and the discount he gets. So if he buys two, we're gonna give a 25% discount. I can also say if he buys three, we'll give him a 33% discount. And we say update. And now let's see this in action. 
So again, I'm going to pull up a sales order. Item S0001. And as you can see, I only have a quantity of one. So the normal unit, uh, sorry, the normal MSRP price of $33.33 comes up. But if I say he buys two, look at the price now. You can see he gets a 25% discount. So the price after discount is $25. And his total is $50. So it's kind of like saying um, you buy two, you get the next one at 50% off, right? Now, what happens if I change that quantity to three? You can now see the discount is 33%. Price after discount is $22. And the total is $66.66. So he's essentially paying $66, which would have been the price of if he bought two. So he's essentially getting the third one for free. So it's like saying buy two, get the third one free. Right? But a lot of customers, you know, for all the customers out there that are running the ad on the Boyum B1 Up, this is a little bonus for you. Um, as you know, Boyum B1 Up is one of the uh, extensibility add-on tools for SAP Business One. So a lot of customers will say, well, you know what, if a customer buys a certain quantity, how do I enter automatically enter a free item on a following row? So I've got a little scenario here where if this customer buys 10 of these items, right, and he clicks on the add button here, he's gonna get a prompt. It's going to say this customer is eligible for a free six pack of beer. This item will be added to the order automatically. So I click OK. And you can see on the last row here, there's a free gift. Now, that doesn't have to be a free gift, a six pack uh, of beer. It could be um, just the same, it could be the same item just appearing on the last row uh, with a zero price allocated to it. Now, I'm not going to get into how I built this logic using B1 Up. It's a very simple, very, very simple line loop. However, if you really uh, want to learn more about it, just simply go to our Project Line website and go to support and go to webinars. Um, not too long ago, I, I did a, a really uh, a really good webinar on B Boyum B1 Up line loops. And I went into uh, very specifically how to create that specific line loop, how to add a new uh, line to an item if uh, they buy a certain quantity or if they uh, buy a certain dollar amount. You can add an extra line or a free gift to your sales order. Okay, so check out check that out on our website. It's a good video. So let's go back to our special prices screen here. You might have noticed that there's also some buttons at the bottom as well. Um, there's also a search line here. So let's say, for example, I had special prices and I had hundreds, if not thousands of items. I could search for a specific item just by typing it in here. So for example, I only have two items here, but I'll type in S0002, click on search. It's supposed to copy discounts. If I click on this, I can copy discounts from this particular customer, Stacy, to a range of customers. I can do it based on a customer group. I can also do it on customer properties. Okay. What we're actually going to do, I'm going to show you how to do this. You can do this from that screen, but I'm going to show you a more elaborate way of doing it. You can do it from inventory and you go under special prices and copy special prices here okay so again i'm going to take stacy's uh special pricing and i'm going to copy it to a range of customers and this is actually a little bit more powerful because not only can i copy this to a range of customers or to specific customers, but I can pick and choose which items in Stacy's special pricing 
to copy. Okay, so in this case, I want to copy his special pricing to another specific customer, Papa's Oil. Right? Now, if I leave this blank, it's going to copy all the special pricing to Papa's Oil. So, one thing to keep in mind, uh, a really important note here is you want to actually do this after you've performed a backup of your company database. Um, especially if you're copying one price list from one customer to many customers. Always perform, perform a backup, okay? I'm gonna say yes, and I get a prompt that the action was completed successfully. And now if I were to go into my special prices screen, I can see that now Papa's Oil now has all the specific or exact special pricing from Stacy copied over. So if, to prove that, I can even double click on say this item here. And remember the quantity breaks that we defined, they're also applied here to Papa's Oil. And again, this is very great, especially if you've got hundreds if not thousands of customers and items, it makes the management of special pricing so much easier. Now, what if I want to create an update to my special prices? So if I click on update special pricing, let's say I want to do a global update. And again, you would do this after you've performed a backup. But let's say, for example, I want to change the discount, right? I want to change the discount percentage. So let's say uh, we know that, for example, if I pull up Stacy's discount or Stacy's uh, special prices, Right now, he's got a 0% discount on the plastic coil crimping pliers, no discount there, but he's got a 5% discount on the pack, backup power generator. Well, I can provide, I can do an update by a certain percentage. So if I want to increase, for example, that 5% to, let's say, 7%, I would put 2% here. So I'm going to increase it by 2%. You also can choose again the business partners and the specific items you want to affect. Now you also have a couple of three check boxes here: automatic, not automatic, no price list. Basically, what that means is, if I've got on my price list here these boxes checked, it's only going to if I select automatic on that previous screen, it's only going to update the items where the automatic checkbox is checked. Okay. Um, if I've got the not automatic, it's only going to update items where I don't have this checkbox checked. And lastly, if no price list is defined, what's going to happen is if I have a row where there is no price list defined, it's only going to update that row. Okay. So let's go ahead. And let's perform this update. We're going to update 2%. You can also do by price. So if I have a specific price, I can do that too. So we're going to do it by percent. So I'm going to say OK. So I'm going to say from, uh, if I leave this blank, OK, it's going to update all uh, the customer prices. OK, again, I could. Pick a specific customer. So let's pick a specific customer. Let's say Stacy. Say OK. Do you want to continue? Yes. And it was performed successfully. So if I refresh the screen, the discount where it was zero is now 2%. And where it said 5%, his discount is now 7%, okay? So it makes the management of uh, updates uh, very easy. Similarly, if I wanted to delete an entire price list, or I should say special price for a business partner, you can also do that by going to the delete tab. So let's say, for example, I want to delete Stacy's special pricing logic altogether. I would select Stacy's business partner code here. 
And I can pick and choose if I wanted which special prices, which items to delete. In this case, I want to delete all the items and all the special pricing for Stacy. So I'm going to leave that blank. If I say OK, get my warning. The action was performed successfully. So now if I open up special prices for business partners and I scroll to the first one, Stacy's no longer there. Okay, he was C0001. He's not there anymore. Okay. If I do an asterisk to search, you can see there's no special prices for C0001. Okay. All right. Um, that actually concludes our webinar on business partner special pricing. Uh, what I'd like to do is um, open up the floor for any questions anyone might have. Hi, Derwin. We have one question here. Sure. Um, it says, does the update special price discount update you your period and volume discount as well by 2%? Uh, good question. So um, it does it does also update the period and special price uh, for both volume and by period. So let's actually see that in action. I can do that very quickly here. Thank you. Uh, let's go back to update. And this time we're going to update um, Papa's Oil. Okay, and we're going to update his price by 2% as well. So if I say OK, action was performed successfully. Now let's look up the special pricing for Papa's Oil. Okay, so we know it's updated 2% here, but if I double click, on, for example, the period discount for this item, you can see the period went up 2% as well. Remember, it was 10% and 15%. It's now 12 and 17%. On this other item here where we had quantity breaks, you can see there's a 2% discount now for that date range. And remember, we had 25% and 33% those quantity break discounts have been updated as well by 2%. Okay, but within a mix of three different items. So three, so okay, so a mix of three different items. So let me make sure I understand yeah. that question. So for example, if you have a sales order, you have three different items, you would just define a quantity break within for each separate item. I'm hoping I'm understanding that question. So okay. the quantity break uh, with three separately for each item. Um, so, okay, so let's see that in action. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. So let's say, for example, I have a quantity break here. We know we have a quantity break for, I guess it's the uh, plastic coil crimping pliers, but I also wanna do a quantity break for this item as well. So I can do, um, you know, if he buys um, five, whatever, he gets a 12% discount here. If he buys seven, he gets a 15% discount here. If he buys 10, he gets a 20% discount here. Okay. So now I've got a couple of items here with different quantity breaks. So that's my mix of items. If I were to create an order for this customer here, uh, S0001, again, I can put in a certain quantity of let's say 10 in there, I get a quantity break discount here. 
if I put in that other item here, and let's say three, I get a quantity break discount of 12% here. So it's just a matter of defining more items on your special prices discount screen and creating um, different uh, quantity break discounts depending on the quantity that they purchase. I hope that answers the question. Okay, they also would like to know, they say, let's say you have three different items and for each and for one each, no special price, but if you buy one of each totaling three, is there a way to offer a volume break? Oh, I see, I see. It's when you, okay. okay. I understand, <laughs> I, that, that's much, much more clearer now. Um, you would have to use B went up uh, for that. So Boyum B went up, you can create what's called a line loop to sum the total quantities of those three different items. And depending on that sum, um, you could put in a free gift or another free item for one of those items uh, on the last row, for example. But that you can't do with native SAP Business One. You'd have to use a, a B1 up line loop for that. That's a good question. Okay, we have that satisfied. So we have another question here. Okay. If you enter identical items in a sales order, will the volume discount apply on a line level or will it consolidate the order quantity and apply the appropriate volume discount? It's always going to be at the line level for that item. So, um, yeah, you could have the same item 10 times on a document, but it's not going to sum or consolidate the total quantities of each line. It's only going to apply that discount based on the quantity you specify for that specific row. It will not consolidate the quantities. Good question. Again, what, what you could do is use a B1 up line loop for that. So again, I've done that before where we sum the quantities of a specific row, and if it meets a certain criteria or a certain quantity number, then we can provide a, a total discount either at the header level here, or we can provide um, a free item on a last row. So it is possible through the B1UP line loop. So as you, uh, a lot of you are aware, we've got our momentum event coming up uh, in May. So we're gonna be doing it in three regions. So in Saskatoon, uh, May 8th, and Edmonton, May 9th, and Toronto is May 11th. And again, this is our, our momentum event. It's a customer appreciation event, okay? So we look forward to seeing you there. And if there's no more questions, I guess we'll uh, we'll wrap things up. Thanks, everybody.